Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to have San Andreas multiplayer fonts in your own handwriting. These are just some examples, but as you can see, the letters are actually my own handwriting, which, well, I transferred into a font, which I set the default font. And these are just some examples of letters. Now, it's not perfect because my handwriting is pretty bad and this was probably the best example I could do but it is pretty effective and there are some symbols missing such as the square brackets which I forgot to do which are actually optional now not all of the symbols out of such as the underscore if as you can see where the cursor is it's actually the default underscore but it's pretty damn good so in this video I'll be showing you how to do this sort of thing. Now, first of all, you would have to go into the link in the description. And that brings you to this page here. Now, what you do is you print this out and you write in the square each letter. And then there's the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters and then the numbers. And you have to do things like commas, dots, semicolons, things like that. And down here's the optional ones, which here's the square brackets I was talking about before. Now, before I didn't actually do these optional ones. That's why they weren't there. But there are things like curly brackets, and these are just some weird symbols, which are used by different languages. So, go to the link, and then go over here, and you just send it to a printer, and print it out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is write out each individual letter myself. So, I guess I'll get started. So. Okay, so it appears I have done most of them, apart from things just like, and it's so on uh, and So now if you look, I've done them, and what I've, um, sorry, and at the bottom I did things like the curly brackets, which should totally fail, and the square brackets, but if you notice, you might not be able to tell, but around each letter, there's actually a square. There we go, that's a really good shot. There's a square, which is the main dark square. And then in the square is a really light, faint square, which you have to put the letter inside there. If you put the letter outside that inner square, then it'll actually cut the letter out. And that's something I learnt the hard way. Now that you've got your sheet of all the letters, go find yourself a scanner. And you want to put the sheet into the scanner. I've right here got a printer and a scanner. That's all in one. Okay, so now what we have to do is I've already previewed the scanner and what it will look like. So I'm going to finally scan it. And I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it will be scanning. And... Now, the suggested recommending uh, resolution, or DPI, is 300. Now, I just tried a really high quality one, and unfortunately, I'm not sure what your scan is like, but the website, no matter what quality it is, only allows two mega the max size is two megabytes. So your scan cannot exceed the default two megabytes that the website will allow. So it seems to have scanned. And if we go into here, here it is. This is the scan. This is, and this right here is, is only actually 1.1 megabyte. All right, so what you wanna do now is go to that website that I've provided in the description 
And this is where I downloaded the template, which is right here. Well, you go choose file, and then you want to go to where you had the scan file. Open that and name your font. Now, this is a bit tricky. Your font can only be five letters if you want it compatible with the Sandress multiplayer. Now, that's because to make the default font, you would actually have to edit the .dll files, which I'll show you about later. And it'll only allow five letters since the previous font was ADL. It's a bit hard to pronounce, but yeah. And in order for it's it's converted that into hexadecimal numbers, which means that you, and in the way it's set up, if you have more than five letters, it'll basically stuff the entire thing up. So I'm just gonna call this font uh, video. I don't know. I'm just doing that because it's five letters. And then make sure it's on TTF, true, true type font, from a send file. Now this takes a little bit, because first of all, it has to upload to the server. And then second of all, it has to process it. So we'll just wait for that. Alright, so now as you can see, it's made a sentence. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. In case you didn't know, that sentence involves every letter of the alphabet, and that's why they have it. So, what you need to do is click vi video.ttf. Now, for you, it would be whatever you entered dot ttf, or if you chose a different uh, formatting system for text, fonts, things like that. So, click it to download it. And it'll only take a little bit because it's such a small file. Alright, so then what you'll want to do is locate that file and install the font. Since I'm on my Mac and not my Windows computer, I'll have to install that on my Windows computer. So we'll just switch over. So now that I've gone over to my Windows machine, what you need to do is you need to locate the font which you saved previously, which I've got right here. Now since I'm running on the same machine, I could just go over to the other hard drive to find it. Now what you need to do is you need to install it, so if you're on Windows 7, you can just double click it. And here's the same thing again, and you can just go install. And it's literally that, that easy. If you wanted to, you could even use it in applications like Microsoft Office. Now obviously, you if you wanted to put more time into this, it would look a lot better, but if you can see, it sort of chopped a little bit off some of the words and the R isn't exactly best. Plus my printer has a, some random crap where the R is. Okay, in order to use this in San Address Multiplayer, you need to download an application called HXD. Now, I don't know what it stands for, but I have a feeling it has to stand for something to do with hexadecimal. You can download this application as I've provided a link in the description to this download page where you can download it in different languages. To download it, you just have to click the language, so for me it's English, and you could either use the CNET download uh, for, or an FTP server or HTTP, which is the one I used. Now, as you can see by the link, it goes directly to the file. Now, what you need to do is you need to open the program and which looks like this. Now you need to locate the main San Andreas Multiplayer DOL file, which not really surprisingly enough, is in the San Andreas directory. Scroll down until you find a file called samp.dl. But before you do anything, what you want in, what you want to do is go to the location, copy the file, so copy it. What you need to want to do is paste it again, just so you have a backup. Yeah, it already makes a backup, but I want one that I'm sure is there. So go ahead and find the file, which in this case is right there, and you'll see this, which looks like a bunch of numbers. Surprisingly enough, it actually is. So what you need to do now is you need to go, you just need to go search and then find, and then you search for. The th this is the default font for the multiplier, and as you can see, it's right here. 
So to replace it with your font, you go search, replace, and then you keep that in there and you replace it with the font name. Now this is the thing, we had it five letters on purpose because if we have it any more letters, it won't work right now, but if we have any more letters, then what it will do is it'll be more space because as you can see, it this is five letters. Now, this is these numbers, there were five of them. So if you have it anymore, it'll actually add a new one which will stuff the entire thing up. So our font was video. Okay, here's a thing in case this happens, what you need to do is you can close that and you want to drag that to your desktop. And then you want to open this application again. Go to your desktop. Go to that main file which is right down here. You find the original font. You want to replace it with the font you entered. Okay. So now you see it's red and then you want to click your floppy disk to save it. And as you can see here it made a backup file. So that's basically the original file. So you can close that program now. What you want to do is you want to go you want to delete that because that shouldn't be there. Then you want to you can move both of these here. So now I've got two backup files in case one fails. So now what you want to do is you want to launch San Address Multiplayer as it is now ready. So I'm going to launch it now and it may ask for your permission or not. I'm going to join the main server that I play on. Alright, so now I am launching the San Address Multiplayer and what will happen is the default chat will be the font I entered. So once it loads, there we go, it, it didn't fail, wow, what a surprise. And now when I join the server, it'll work correctly you see it's the same font and unlike the pictures I showed previously you've got all things like the square brackets and things like that so now you have your own font in your own handwriting and that is pretty epic I mean like there's nothing really you can beat of awesomeness than that I mean like you're running Grand Theft Auto in your own font no one can really beat you Alright, thank you for watching, and someone sent me a personal message. Okay, I'll see you guys later.